There's a big update to how Autodesk Fusion works. Coming in 2026, there's going to be intent-driven design in Autodesk Fusion. You can preview this feature now, but it's going to become part of the full workflow in Fusion from now on. Some things haven't changed. For example, hybrid design is the way Fusion works currently, and it will stay the same. We'll talk about that in a second. The two new design methods we have are part design and assembly design. Part design is what we normally think of as a component. But previously in Autodesk Fusion, you could have internal components or external components. Now, part designs are all external components. This helps with collaboration and keeping track of different parts and making sure a part is just a single component. An assembly design is used to create or insert parts or other assemblies. So you could make an assembly become a sub-assembly of another assembly. And then you define the relationships between them with either constraints or joints. And then hybrid designs have internal components and external components. And you can define relationships with joints or constraints, just like normal in Fusion. The main difference now is that generally you won't work in hybrid design. Let me know what you think in the comments. This kind of changes up the general rule number one in Fusion to create a component. Now you are forced to create a component in part design. For example, if I select part design and I create new, and then under the Create menu, there's not even an option to create a component in Fusion. That's because it already is a component. So I can create a sketch, select here, and draw a circle, and then draw a center rectangle from that circle, and perhaps one more center rectangle. I can make some extrusions, press E to extrude, and then hide the sketch. So now we have a part that is inside a component. If I save this, I can call it Square Slot, then I can close this design. Let's look at the other type of design you can make in the Intent Driven Design in Fusion. If I click Assembly Design and select Create New, notice up here there's no Create Sketch, there's no Body, there's no Design Workspace. That's because this is basically the top level component that we're used to in Fusion. So the only thing I can do is either insert a new component here or create a new component. If I create a new component, it will always be an external component. Previously in Fusion, we could create internal components. That's now only possible in the hybrid version. So if I select Create New Component, I can label this Rod. And it says, by default, Associative Edit in Place is turned on. That means that references to other components will be captured in an assembly context. Of course, you can, tur of course, you can toggle this off from Edit in Place menu at the top of the canvas or in the default settings and preferences. And then you can click don't show this again. If I create a sketch on this plane and then extrude it up, I now have a new body and notice that it's in this unsaved linked external component. Once I save that and finish the edit in place at the top here, I can save this assembly. So remember, I already saved the rod as an external part file and I'll call this new assembly. I can also insert a component. So if I insert a component, I can insert my square slot component and then make associations between this and the other parts. Notice that both of these are linked designs. But if I need to change something about one of these designs, I can edit in place by clicking the pencil. Then I can fill at the edge or put a chamfer on these edges here. If I click finish edit in place and I save these designs, and if I go back to this section here and I open up the square slot, Notice that that automatically updates. The same thing is true if I modify here and I chamfer this into your edge, press OK, save it. Now when this saves, it's going to update these different designs once it realizes that there's a change. So if I go back to my new assembly, you're going to see that this square slot is now out of date. So it's a little bit different than editing in place. Now if I right click, I can get the latest version and it'll update. The problem is sometimes you will have joints or constraints that will fail because you lose the edge. And so you're going to have to redefine relationships as you go along. You can also change a design from one type to another. In document settings here, we can click assembly design, edit this. I can click assembly and change it to a hybrid design. If I select convert, you'll notice that these are still external components. But if I go back to the solid workspace, now I can create sketches inside this component. So this allows us to have internal or external designs. So if I draw a sketch here, then I extrude it, 
This is now a new body. And then I can right click this body and create components from bodies. Now this is going against rule number one. Generally we would want to create a component first, then have the body inside that component to keep our design timeline clean. Now we can make part files that are always components by default from the beginning. There's gonna be a lot more to this as it comes out later in 2026, but I encourage you to explore the new intent-driven design in Fusion. I'll be making more tutorials about how this updated workflow changes the way we do laser cutting, 3D printing, and all kinds of parametric design in Fusion. For now, try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments and happy 3D modeling.